Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And today I am here to dupe the vibes of a newly released palette. Our most favorite asshole brand out there, Too Faced, has released a new palette in the 2D Fruity collection, and this is a papaya themed eyeshadow palette. Now, I just saw this pop up on Trend Mood, and I thought it was an interesting little color story. A colorful palette that's also kind of approachable, and basically, I see like there's some peachy colors, some pink tones, and then like a pop of yellow and a pop of purple. Now, this is a six pan palette. Knowing me, I'm going to turn it into a nine pan palette. And the main reason why I feel that's gonna be good is because either the yellow or the purple could use a little bit more expanding. So I'm just gonna start swatching and playing. Let's just dig right into it. If you've ever seen one of these videos before, usually I am taking a palette that I've seen, you know, somewhere on the internet, usually new releases and trying to duplicate the vibe of the palette in a way that makes me excited to work with it. So I think the colors that are in their palette are nice, but I think that I can make something that excites me even more. This is probably so, going to be the star of the show, and I'm going to start here, and then we'll dip into these other colors. The very first color I thought about is this pale base color. And then I thought about Poodle from Colourpop as like the brighter pink. It's a little deeper than the original reference, but I think this is a more interesting choice to get brighter and deeper colors. Oh yes. This is Crushed from Colored Rain, which I just dinged and it looks really rough, but it still works. That's really pretty. And I think what I want to do is also add a, a lighter peach that's matte, which the original palette does not have. Actually, I'm going to slot those out. What does this one look like with it? Okay. Let's watch these together. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty color. take this one out because I think I can actually blend the two together to create a nice transition color that replaces that because I'm more interested in shimmer than I am in 
um, mattes right now. Now, when I saw this palette, the first thing that popped into my head is Sin from JD Glow because the there's a paler peachy color and then there's a, a pinker uh, metallic. Now this is like kind of paler, but it's pinky green. And then this I believe is another JD Glow shadow. That's more of an intense peach. And I feel like they both have a place in this palette because this can be paired with the pinks to make them more icy pink. This can be paired with the peaches or the yellows. And then, okay, so if I'm thinking about a nine pan palette, I still have two more shimmers that I could bring in. And I'm debating between bringing in something like a yellow. Let's see. It's a soul from Cleona. I also have Saint from Davina. And this is Lick It, Slam It, Suck It from Luxie. I think I'm going to skip that one for sure because it's more blue. Let's see. So. And then Saint. Actually, I'm going to do something a little unexpected. I'm going to pull in Halo from give me glow because it almost reminds me of the pale peach like highlighter color on the palette but then it's yellow so it'll really bring out the yellow here but it could be used almost as an inner corner color with some of the other colors yeah let's do that we'll give that a try now I have space for one more shimmer what do I want to do what about this color? Okay. I'm thinking about bringing in one of the Divina shadows because it's like a beautiful purple gold. Okay, one more time I'm gonna wipe my hand off and I'm gonna swatch everything all together and see what I think. How do I wanna swatch these out? I'm gonna swatch it out in that order. We'll see what we think. So I'm pretty happy with this color story. Now, when I'm looking at it, I do feel like it looks a little bit more peach than pink from the original story because this is a more warm tone pink. Let me, let me do something. Okay. So I just wiped off half that peach peachy pink swatch and I want to try it out with this color. I don't 
know. I feel like y'all, y'all, you can tell me in the comments if you would be more drawn to this color story versus this color story. I think that the peachy pink is just a better choice. Um, but I'm torn. I am torn. And now I'm rethinking things because just like how I nixed that mid-tone peach earlier, because I felt like if you mix those two together, you can get this. I'm actually now thinking I might nix this because if I mix these two together, I can get that. It's not the exact same, but if I take out this color, then you really do get like warm and cool tones here. And these two could be used together in ways that they could not because the, these two colors would muddy up. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do that. It's kind of going against what I originally thought in my head. But once I started thinking about mixing and matching colors, now, if you're just thinking of the most like foolproof combo, then I would say, you know, going more warm toned is gonna be where it's at. But I want, I want to try this and see if when you're actually working with the palette, if this is a pain in the ass or if it works. So that is, so that's my final decision. I'm gonna do that. Let me fix these two swatches. Okay. Hmm. I'm very intrigued by working with this color story on my eyes. I am going to, let's see. What palette do we wanna use? Well, let's do this one. Okay. Now here's some composition playtime. Not sure if I love the layout, but, but I did it. We have five mattes, four shimmers, we have texture and dimension and duochromes, duochromes out the wazoo, and I think you could make some really pretty eye looks. Monochromatic, made with uh, complementary colors or like analogous colors and if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm happy to explain in a future video but I don't know this is a fun little color story I am going to try to work with this some here and there 
and maybe do a little follow-up video or some kind of get ready with me using this palette or something. Let me know if you have any interest in seeing that and let me know if you like these kinds of keeping the vibes of videos. Because releases have slowed down, you know, there's not a lot of new things to dupe vibes of, but when I have the opportunity, I love to do it. So that is this palette. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy watching single eyeshadow videos and overhead style videos, I would love for you to subscribe, follow along with my colorful shenanigans. Feel free to find me over on Instagram and Twitter at Nomnevers. And I also have a Patreon, which is another little way to support me. I hope you're all taking care of yourself and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye friends.